I think my first experiences of seeing hip hop on TV, I probably was like in junior high and I think I fell in love with rap and females in rap when I saw MC Light do her verse on self-destruction. I was like, oh my God, that's me. That's what I want to be. And there's only one disco. That closed one more. You ain't guarding the door. So what you got a gun for? Do you rob the rich and give to the poor? Yo, daddy, yo. School him some more. And then, of course, there was Queen Latifah and Moni Love when Ladies First came out. Because I'm from Chicago, so, you know, the, the fast rapping is what we did. You know what I'm saying? Like, Tongue Twister is who we all looked up to in Chicago. So, when Moni Love came with it, I was like, oh, I know that's what I want to be. So, I had to let my parents know, you know, I'm, I want to be a rapper. <laughs> It had something to do with the way it was set up, like your living room, like like the crib. You know, it had the little pool tables and the games and the posters on the wall and stuff. You just felt comfortable, like it was a part of your your house. Like that's how I felt when I went in there. You know, yeah, everybody want to sit on the couch. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. You shake them down, mama. Shake them down. Uh. I remember getting that call about uh, them wanting me to do Rap City, and I automatically got scared. You automatically get scared and nervous because you like. Oh shit, they're gonna want me to go in the booth, <laughs> you know? World exclusive, never ever been seen or happened before. B-R-A-T for the first time ever in the booth. And so when you go in the booth, you gotta kill it. Like, you can't mess up. So, you know, you automatically get nervous, you get anxious, your anxiety start kicking in, but you work on yourself because you want to do your best when you go on that show. Because everybody watching. You know you don't want to mess up, you get one chance, and it ain't no retakes, they not shooting you over, ain't no do-over, so I think one of those times I actually passed from being really, really nervous and not wanting to mess up. After my appearance on Rap City, people were like super excited for me, and they, you know, everybody like, you did your thing on Rap City, and I think BET started calling me to do more things, because I think when you get on Rap City and people really see you talk, because you got to really talk and express who you were on Rap City, like sometimes on like video soul and stuff, you got to talk a little bit, but you had to kind of be poised, you know. On Rap City, you could be yourself, like yo, yo, you know what I'm saying? So they got to see you really express yourself, and they got to really see your personality shine. So I think after that people really like got to know who the brat was for real. Right, check it out. I want to shout out the entire So So Deaf crew. Yeah. Came through the day. So yeah. Deaf. Y'all know what it is. I think Rap City had a huge impact on female MCs. All of us that went on there, we loved it. And we tried to show out because, you know, they was trying to, you know, make, make the males seem like they was better than us. So we had to really, you know, step up and do our thing on Rap City.